Hi, this is Mark Wiltshire from Explore Finland Radio Show and uh, the Finnish Football Show. Today I'm honoured to have been invited to ASICOR for the uh, press conference to announce the arrival of Sixten Bostrom, the new manager of ASICOR. Sixten, thanks for joining me. Thank you. First of all, uh, I was looking through your football CV and most recently you've been in the USA. Um, how was that? How was that? experience of being in the USA compared to managing in Finland and Sweden yeah um, yeah it was uh, it was very interesting and, and uh, I feel like uh, first of all I wasn't as a head coach I was as an uh, assistant coach and, and uh, I was actually after because I, before that I was I was in in Hoiko in Helsinki as, as a head coach and I felt like uh, I would like to experience something else and, and maybe to be part of a coaching staff or the coaching team and, and be, be part of that and, and to learn something new, follow how the head coach is doing and, and, and uh, you know, get all this new information and at, at the same time MLS is starting to be a really competitive uh, league and, and uh, I mean, everyone knows about the big stars they have there nowadays, and and uh, and it's not more like a few years ago. People were talking about that that the big stars who come there they only come to sort of like semi-retire and or something like that. That's that's not true anymore. It's it's really competitive, and 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 there's a lot of good players both from Europe and especially from South America, and, and uh, which maybe we don't even know. The names of them that that they you know stars that or tomorrow stars yeah. that we don't haven't seen here in the European leagues. So and they're coming to America now before their stars. Yeah, rather exactly. Than yeah, yeah. So, but they're still good, very good players. And and uh, another thing is, of course, the the uh, resources they have. You know, compared to Scandinavia, for instance, it's 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 huge. Difference in that, and, and, and they have, they have the salary the salary caps yeah, in the in the yeah, states. But yeah. so where, where do they spend the resources if they have these big resources? Where do you notice that? Uh, in everything, what comes to to you know technology, uh, you know in the staff they have uh, you know really qualified people in in basically every position. You know they they. Uh, Draft people from Europe, from uh, uh, South America, from you know, whatever. There's good people. They, they, uh, they are having the resources that they can. They can hire them, and, and, and in that sense, everything gets better. And, and and of course, they have, like you said, they have the salary cap, but they still have this system that you can have three designated players, which. Uh, only take like uh, a small amount from the salary cap, yeah. and everything upon that is, is basically you can you can pay them anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it's uh, how David Beckham and players exactly. like that will, will yeah. move them. Yeah, or Gerard or Lampard yeah. or whoever you know. So, so, uh, mm, but the salary cap also makes it very interesting because because in that way they can keep the league very even. And, and because everyone's struggling with the sort of like you have the same same amount of money to use for mm. players and, and except of course the DP stand but 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 otherwise so so that makes the league very interesting and, and actually the the crowds are nowadays very I mean they have big crowds and, and uh, I don't know if it was last year or the year before they actually got into top 10 uh, in average, all in, in the whole world, in the world yeah, 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 yeah. So that says something about you know they can be sixty thousand, forty thousand spectators in a games, and 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 so so, and the sport itself. I mean, soccer in like they say the soccer. So it's it's uh, it's growing, and people starting starting to follow it very much. Mm -hmm. I asked some of the Finnish football show guys for their their questions and. Mm -hmm. One of them, I don't remember which one of you now, asked what should uh, Jukka Raitala expect 
from, after yeah. joining Columbus yeah. Crew. What yeah. can he expect from that that club? Well, it's 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 going to be a it's a it's a high tempo physical league, and and uh, and uh, but I think he's going to a good environment. It's a good place to be. It's good to, for a player. Uh, uh, the staff is good. Uh, they have. Uh, very good. The, the way they play football, I'm, I'm sure it will suit him well. And uh, and uh, but it's 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 going to be tough in the beginning, especially with all the traveling and, and uh, because we Europeans we're not used to it. I mean we we still, especially if you played somewhere in Central Europe where the distances are so short. I mean it's one hour here, two, two hours there. In in US we're talking about that you have. Some, Five, six, seven hours flights, yeah. and uh, the time difference can be three, four hours or whatever. And, and, and you know, so so it's it's a totally new kind of experience for him. But but I, I think he will he will do well. So you hear uh, the the big clubs complaining when they have to travel to the other side of Russia for Champions League yeah. games and things. And yeah. this is what happens in the U.S. Yeah, every ba- every game. Yeah, it's basically every at least almost every week, but yeah. at least every second week. Yeah. 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 So having having been in the US, how much of the Veikkaus Liga did you get to follow while you were over there? I, I did. I tried to follow as much as possible. Uh, some games online uh, I watched, and and, uh, and of course through the media I tried to follow what's yeah. happening and what people are talking about and, and all that. But it's 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 of course when you're working on the other side of. Of the Atlantic, so so it's not easy, but but and and of, and then when you're working all the time over there also, so and because of the time difference also, so it's it's not the easiest way, but I did follow uh, a bit, so I have sort of like some kind of yeah. view how how it's been and and what's happened in the last two years. I understand the time difference thing. I'm I'm only. <laughs> We're only two hours ahead of the UK, and I and it kills me trying to watch, stay up to watch a Champions League game yeah, on a yeah. Tuesday night. I find myself on the sofa trying to keep my eyes open and watching yeah, and, uh, watching those games. Been having the yeah, and, and and especially when you're trying to be in contact with your family, also who are over here, and, and if, if you it's seven hours on the east coast, and, and but then if you have a game, let's say in, on the west coast, it's ten hours, so it's it's already difficult to count what time is it now in over there and yeah. because you're traveling all over the place so how so being being assistant manager in the US coming now back to Finland to be um, to be the, the, the first team manager um, how did the how did the management of the club here sell it to you how did they how did they convince you to, to take the job here um, well we, we had a we had a discussion, and, and, and uh, first of all, it all happened quite quickly. So there wasn't that much time for for sort of like long, really long discussions about. That. But 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 uh, I mean, it, it was more more about you know I wanted to know about the team, I wanted to know about the organization, I wanted to know what they are uh, expecting from me, and and uh, and uh, things like that, and and. Uh, I know I know some of the people I know Sarah Yarvi from before and, and, and so so in that sense I mean we've been knowing each other for quite a long time yeah. so in that sense it was quite easy and, and I know the, the organization is a good organization so so there wasn't that much to convince. I, I mean I I already I, I had already Decided that I'm not going back to US. That I'm, I will try to find something maybe yeah. over in Europe. And, and I knew quite a lot already from the club before. And, and, and for me, it's a club who, who is nowadays a top club in mm. Finland. And, and and with a good organization and a good understanding about what what it needs to be a top club in Finland. And maybe even going taking the next step and so on. So the decision decision wasn't. That difficult. What about um, what the club expects? How about regarding new players? Do, do you yet have a, a clear picture of how many players you think the club needs to bring in? Uh, I have a some kind of picture, but but I can't. I would lie if I said I have a real clear picture because I haven't. You know, basically, I started today and yeah. I haven't had any any 
any trainings with the players yeah, and, okay. and and uh, and uh, but I've been talking to the coaching staff and I've been talking to the other people in the organization and 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 uh, of course when the club has been losing some players and 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 and, uh, and some injuries came up just a week ago or, or so so I yeah, know well, as we as we re- record in this interview it, it was announced just last week that Mate Radetzky is going to be out for the entire se- season which is a clearly a big loss yeah. and and also with Johanny Oyala yes. leaving to go to Sweden and Ropi Ariski mm. uh, on loan in Germany yeah, there's some yeah. there's some big gaps to fill yeah there. so there's some questions mm. and and and, and uh, then we have to sort of like sit down and and and, and look at, at at what the options are and where do we need and maybe my job is to ask as quickly as possible maybe after this week I already much wiser in that sense that I can I can see what I need or, yeah. or, or so so but uh, we have a we have some kind of we have a picture about what 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 we for certain need and and and, and then maybe I will add to that then what what my feelings are. I was um, chatting online yesterday with Chris Cleaver, right. and he sends sends his regards. Oh, thank you. Um, and he said to me that Sixton and Simo are very different personalities, mm. but both special in their own different ways. Mm. Um, how do you think your management style is different? Are you able to make that comparison, or, uh, or at least tell us about your your style? Yeah, I, I, I the one. The thing I know about Simo is, is uh, outwards towards other people. He he probably is. Uh, I mean, if you if you're asking about people about him and asking about me, uh, people probably will say that he's he's more lively. He's more uh, in that sense that he's, he's more outgoing. More 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 outgoing, and and uh, um, some even said that he's more that he's passionate about what he's doing but but you can show that in different mm-hmm. ways so so i wouldn't say that i lack the passion in what i'm doing but it doesn't maybe show it as well as maybe in his case but <coughs> but um it's always difficult to talk about yourself and and and, and uh but i i would say that i'm uh, uh, i'm quite usually quite calm uh, um, some say I'm a I'm a thinker, and and uh, I'd rather think through everything before I say something, and and uh, and uh, so in that sense, it's it's I'm I'm a quite a calm pe- person, and and uh, very feel like I'm very quite analytic. With everything I do, and 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 uh, like to think that I'm quite experienced nowadays as a coach, also because I've been both in Sweden, uh, both in Finland and and abroad in Sweden and US, and and so I basically, I mean, if if I look from from this day and ten years back, I've been more abroad than than in Finland, so so, and hopefully learned things about about coaching and, and about football during those years. Mm. I remember from the episode I did about the history of ASICOR mm. for the Explore Finland mm. radio show, um, Larry explaining that, that the club is quite uh, uses technology for analysing yeah. opponents and preparing for, for upcoming games. So hopefully that sits quite yeah. quite neatly with your with your own kind of analytical approach. Yeah, it, uh, I'm, I'm sure it does. And, 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 and another thing where I probably learned even more about that was in the US yeah. because they so uh, sometimes even too much fixed on all kinds of statistics and, mm. and, and things like that so so we had the resources to basically have all kinds of programs you need you know to, to analyze whatever you want to analyze and, and everything from from of course from the game and and and, and but the physical part and 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 uh, what to, what to eat and 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 even how to you know we even ana- analyzed the players how they sleep and and uh, so I mean the Americans they they love this kind of stuff and and for me I mean it was of course some was was uh, I was familiar with but but I also saw very, very much something new and, and, and 
and that's of course something I, I would like to bring with me over here. And, and so yes, like you said, it's it's uh, I I sort of like like the word in, in that sense that that they they <coughs> did a lot of research and a lot of, <laughs> lot of <laughs> analysis of, of basically everything. Yeah. What about your style of play? Do you norm do your teams normally play a certain way, or does it vary depending on the team that you're managing? Well, uh, it 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 varies a bit, and and but but there's always a basic uh, principle. We, my teams always want to be like a possession-minded football, and and. Uh, and uh, Somehow also also combined with a very aggressive, uh, you know, pressing and and trying to win the ball back as quickly as possible and and uh, in that sense there there are some similarities with with uh, Simos and mine, mm. mine how we see football and and uh, that's probably one reason why I'm here now yeah. and and, and uh, but of course we always have have. Uh, First of all, opponents who play differently, so you have to adjust according to that a bit. But but there is always a base where you where you land on and and, and what we want to do. But 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 I'm I'm open to try new things and, and, and different things. So your message to the to the fans to the Kloppit uh, Asiko is that this will be an evolution, not a revolution, when it comes to the the playing style. Yeah, hopefully, yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes. Okay, I have one more question for you. Final question. You've moved to Sainiyoki. How well do you know Sainiyoki? What do you make of it so far? I've been here a few times, of course. Uh, I, I was here with uh, my club in Sweden. We were playing in the Komia tournament and, and, uh, and uh, that's a few years back. Then I've been a few times watching the tournament even though my team wasn't playing here. And, and uh, I used to coach Yaro from Pieta, sorry, yes. and, and so I have to drive through here every time I came from between Helsinki and, and so I know something. I mean, I, I found I found my way in, in, in the in the city yeah. and, and, and uh, but there's not there's not much of the city left at the moment. They're <laughs> knocking most of it down yeah. and re and rebuilding. So yeah, but anyway, so I, I I I've been moving a lot, you know, and to different places and and. Uh, there's always good things about every place. I mean, you're a good example. I mean, you you lived, came here, and you stayed here. So, so there must be something good that why you are here. So, I'm sure I will en enjoy my time here. No, I think there's something special in the in the air around here. I think it's not it's not the prettiest town, but there's something there's something special. Yeah, in and the I, air here. I love so. this area also. I mean, the people. I like the people over here. I mean, I, like I said, I've been in Piedasari, which is, of course, a bit more Swedish-speaking mm. region, but, but they all all from Pohjan, mm. which is and, and there's something some sim similarities in, in how people are, and, and for me, I, I always felt welcome when I've been here, and, and, and so and I was actually talking with my wife about this, you know, also, and, and she said the same thing that. that it's nice to go back there because we we always been enjoying it. Well, then maybe I can take the liberty on behalf of all of the ASICO supporters to say, Sixton, welcome uh, to Sainiyoki, welcome to ASICO, and thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And to everyone listening, thank you for joining me for another episode of the Finnish Football Show. It's Mark Wiltshire from Explore Finland Radio Show signing off. Bye-bye.